We begin tonight with a disgusting incident on a BC Transit bus that landed the driver in the hospital. A group of partiers sitting on the top level of a double decker in Victoria left behind quite a mess. And some of that mess, their bodily fluids, it turns out, began dripping on the driver's head. CTV's Yvonne Raymond is following the story and joins us live with more. Andrew, we're told the driver found vomit and urine on the upper deck. It had dripped onto her clothes, her face, and in her eye. Paid to get you home safely, many professional drivers have a gruesome story to share. It was aboard a bus like this late Saturday night. Another one was added to the list. There was a large group of individuals used that were on the uh, transit bus at the time and they uh, were vomiting and urinating on the upper deck of the double-decker bus. They were traveling southbound on Blanchard before getting off near this hotel. That fluid made its way down onto the operator's head as well as her face and clothing and subsequently did get into uh, her eye. I cleaned up a few vinyl seats. At Victoria Taxi, the general manager estimates they clean up after messes two to three times a week. Obviously, people get uh, silly when they had a few beers. Um, sometimes it can get out of hand. Uh, we had uh, one taxi last week had the windows punched out over a fair dispute. Normally, this driver says they're remorseful, but the union representing a transit driver says the case over the weekend felt anything but apologetic. I was just told that they were making fun of the operator and there was just no no respect in any way, shape or form. She was checked out in hospital undergoing tests for the possible transmission of disease or illness. We're very shocked by this type of incident. It's completely inappropriate behavior for riders. It's very rare that these types of things happen. At a time when BC Transit is testing the use of security cameras on its buses, the pilot project fails to help. This bus, just so everyone understands, did not have active cameras on it. Um, Clearly, uh, you can make a case for it might have been a situation where the cameras would have been beneficial. But those behind the wheel suggest it shouldn't be necessary. Give us the respect that we deserve and, and we'll give you the respect that you deserve as passengers. One puzzling piece to this story is how the bodily fluids managed to drip down. Because on the double deckers, there's a floor above the driver. Right now, the bus has been pulled from the fleet while a joint investigation looks into that. So far, police have not. The, the case hasn't been reported to police. Okay, surprising. Thanks, Yvonne.